All right, I'm back. I have run away with the circus. I don't know when I'm coming back, but I can tell you where I am. I am in the parking lot of the United Center with a Cirque du Soleil troupe, Lucia, a waking dream of Mexico. It kicks off this Friday. It runs through September 3rd, and uh, you can tell that I'm going to be performing because there's no one in the seats. Uh, I'm going to give you a behind-the-scenes look at what the performers do before the big show. This is something that the typical person doesn't get to see when they come to the performance. So come with me on A Waking Dream of Mexico. We're going to meet some um, pole dancers. I don't think that's her official title, and they'd probably smack me if they heard me say that, um, because it's a very different form of pole dancing. Uh, they climb these poles straight up. Two guys, Devin and Dominic, um, they've been doing this since they were about 10 years old, and they're going to see if I have what it takes to be a part of Cirque du Soleil here in Chicago during its uh, several week run through, through the month of August. All right, you guys want to see what I'm about to do? Here we go. Stand. There they are. Hey guys. Hey. Okay, so I told everybody about you, Devin and Dominic. How how high up are you guys right now? Five feet. Five feet. The pole itself, I think, is like 18 feet tall. And then, so out on stage, how high are you going? 18 feet? Pretty much. Wow. Pretty much My goodness, you're like a little monkey. Yeah. That is crazy. All right, so, wow. Do you guys see this? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's terrifying. Okay, so just by, uh, here, I'm gonna flip the camera back around. Yeah, so it. just just a quick like assessment of me. Um, yes. Uh, how well, on a scale of 1 to 10, do you think I would do in a Cirque du Soleil show? 15. 15. Wow! <laughs> I say 15 and a half. Well, that is much better than the score my coworkers would give me, so I do appreciate that. Um, I'm going to ask you guys a few questions. I'm going to hand the camera over to Francis. There you go, Francis. You might see yourself. Oh, Look how go. cute Francis is. Hello. Okay. Hey, okay. There you go. Okay. For this show, but yeah. you guys have siblings that, that I know your sister is part of the show. Yeah, right? I actually have a younger sister that's in the show with us. That's awesome. Yeah, and four of us actually were childhood friends from San Francisco. Who do pull? Who do the show? All the all do the. So do you? So I'm, I'm guessing that you have to not be afraid of heights then if you're doing that. <laughs> I'm a little afraid of heights. What? I'm a little bit afraid that's of heights. Impossible. Yeah, I mean it's different. Because like up there, you're totally safe. I like know exactly what I'm doing. I trust my body. But like if I'm on a building, like on the edge yeah, of a building, like looking right. over, I'm like, I'm terrified. Yeah, you, oh you, yeah. What do you? What would? What would one eat before a whole performance? Or not a lot, probably. Okay. Yeah. Not a lot. I would say being full of a pole would be not the most fun. Yeah. A little. <laughs> you, know, you know, you're upside down. So it's like yeah, know, everything's right, going right, down. Right there, like, might be going. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, all the time. The pole is great because it's like it's a full uh, workout. workout. It's like, you know, you're going to the gym, you're lifting your own weight. Yeah. Own weight. Okay, well, this already pretty much throws me out of your It's because I don't think I can't lift my own weight. All right, so why don't we show people then um, what you guys typically do, and maybe you can show me a couple of moves. Yeah. Okay, cool. all right. Let's do it. All right. All right. So can we talk about, because I feel like this is a trick almost, what the pole is covered in? Yes. Okay, so let's come closer, everybody. So, I know you're not going to be able to see this, but just take my word for it. It's, it's just like, it's not sticky, but it's like a rubber. Yeah, it's definitely a rubber, which causes some form of grip. The poles that we used to use when we were younger were metal. Right. And so it causes, it's like painting metal, and it causes tricks to be a lot different. And these style poles are now you just kind of like squeeze, squeeze harder. the pole, yeah. and yeah. you're sticking to the pole. So the tricks have evolved over oh, time. Yeah. Back then, we would do a lot more just jumping from pole to pole. Now it's a lot of like, Manipulating yourself. But so, and another thing is though, since it's rubber, 
cover, it's really rough and it sticks to your skin. So we have to wear a lot of layers so that we don't burn ourselves. We don't burn ourselves. It's a, yeah, so if you, have you hurt yourself? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my god, I don't know if I want to do this. Don't worry, you got it, you got it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I do. It's a good layer. Yeah. Thank goodness it works.
like you just, you gotta be, if you're open to the experience, it's such a beautiful show. It's like, it's colors, it's acts are super beautiful. So I would say, if you knock down your feet, just don't blink. Okay. Watch, watch the whole watch show. There's a lot going I mean, on all the time. This is, okay. this is a really fun show too. You know, like there's something to be said about just a show that you can go into and just kind of sit down and just really enjoy it. And I feel like this is one of those shows that you really can sit down. And right at the beginning, there's a bang. You know, it opens up with a bang. It finishes yeah. with a bang. It's heartwarming. It's like there's it's also like some aspects. very beautiful, good moments in it. Yeah. And like things that you can really get into. And also a lot of funny moments. It's like. There's something in it for everyone. It's well rounded. Yeah. And it takes you, I mean, the sets are so incredible, uh, I've heard. And it yeah. takes you for different scenes, like you're at a dance hall, it's a dance hall in Mexico, and um, they look like the scenes that we saw, there was like a jungle almost in the scene. So, really cool. Yeah, it's like all about, like, kind of almost like a music box where you just get yeah. kind of transformed into different scenes, kind of one by one. Right. And so that's why I feel like it has something for everyone. Because it's like, oh, if you don't like the smoke so far, maybe you like the jungle. Maybe, you know, like. <laughs> Cirque du Soleil.com slash Luzia.